Hello guys. In this session, I'm going to show you how to move SharePoint search service or component in a different server in same farm. Here you can see there uh, there is my two servers, uh, SharePoint servers in uh, same farm. This one and this one. Uh, go to application management and manage services in the server here SharePoint server search server search application and here is all my source application topology admin crawler content processing analytic processing query processing and index partition is hold by this server but I want to move to the another server uh, to do that we need to go through some steps here are the steps first clear all the SharePoint cache from all servers you if you have two three four five servers you have to clear cache SharePoint cache from all servers and after that we, we have to go through some uh, steps okay then let's start clear the SharePoint cache on all SharePoint servers okay this is my first server go to C uh, program data Microsoft SharePoint config and uh, find out your uh, recent date this is my recent date and cache should be in hyphen or dash GUID this is this one this is current date and this is this GUID with hyphen or dash here copy cache.ini and paste here it is backup or copy it go to services stop SharePoint timer service SharePoint timer service stop and go to the folder I'm going to quick type select all and deselect these two and delete yes and this one open and just into one only save and close yeah save and close after that we start SharePoint timer service yeah that's fine and here should some XML files and there should be okay it is processing still processing after some time you can see here there is some numbers the cache is clear and do same steps and another server this is my second server go to C drive now start service again SharePoint server will rebuild the cache wait for a few minutes check yeah it is rebuilt so it's fine now we have to go through these uh, steps first clone the active service topology start SharePoint management cell and run is administrator yes in first step we will make 
some variables and clone the active search topology so for variable ssa search service application get sp enterprise enterprise source service application it's into okay fine second variable active get sp enterprise source enterprise source topology enterprise search topology the source application is ssa okay fine and active Tintra. now clone create variable for clone new sp enterprise source topology Search application is SSA clone search to close is active active it enter that's fine it is pass before we move the search components uh, source service must run or must exist in new server so we have to register source service in new server so make new variable new server get sp enterprise source Source service instance identity SP one thirty two this mess second server tinter that's fine now start start SP enterprise enterprise source So, so in instance identity is okay that's fine uh, before move to another step or next step we need to verify the source service is started in new server get sp enterprise source source service instance identity is our variable new server it's enter it is online it means it is at the start is that's fine now time to create new search components on the new search server uh, these are here these uh, these are the components you have to choose which component you want to move to the second server you if you want to all that's fine if you want to just uh, move one or two that's fine i'm going to move one just one for the demo propose new sp enterprise source 
enterprise search query I'm going to move search query this this uh, the query processing to the second server query processing component search topology is clone source source service instance to new server new server uh, it says query processing component 2 that's fine now we need to set sp enterprise enterprise source topology identity is clone each inch it will take few minutes depending on your environment okay there is no error or no warning message so I think this is fine Please. yeah here this is this is restored and query processing is cloned and copied to second server now we have to uh, remove this query processing component from the first server so clone the topology again Now we need to get source component to find out the component ID for enterprise source component source source topology this clone there is uh, content processing component uh, you have to write on all the component name uh, like from which server is which one because if we have to delete we have to delete or remove the component from the first server so uh, we just move the query processing so i'm going to write the query processing from first server this is my second server and this is my first server i'm going to remove query processing from uh, from first server so this is my query processing now we need to remove the component from uh, the first server so remove remove ESP enterprise source component source component identity is first one that's fine Source topology is clone. Confirm. It's ensure. Now run second command. Set as the enterprise source topology 
identity is to teacher and wait for few minutes command is finished it's fine refresh the page here you can see query processing is deleted from server 1 and it started in server 2 the repeating all the steps same steps we can move all the component to second server thank you guys for watching this video please subscribe my channel thank you